What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at Microsoft Edge support for um, NVIDIA's GeForce Now. And this is more intended for like a PC, but it does work on the Xbox Series S and X. So I wanted to check it out. I don't recommend it being the way to play GFN. There's times you're gonna want a mouse and keyboard. There's times things get a little bit quirky, but the performance once in game is actually surprisingly decent, surprisingly smooth. And uh, the stream is very clean. So I wanted to be able to take a look at that. Now we will jump over and take a look at the apps, the app and the browser on PC. I wanna explain the difference and then we'll take a look at these same two games over there on the edge browser on pc on windows 11 as well now here's a spot where i couldn't make the controller do anything no matter what i did um, so i did have to use my mouse and keyboard to scroll over and hit play right here and once i was into the game i couldn't get rid of the icon again no matter what i did so i hold the view button to exit full screen and normally you could click go back to full screen and that will kick in game mode controls. Uh, I couldn't get it to do that. I also couldn't get the other menus to pop up to change controls. But if I hit F11 on my keyboard and F11 again, it goes away. Then I'm in full screen and everything is fine. So like I said, once in game, we're good to go. Again, stream is very clean, very smooth. I wasn't getting a lot of stutters or issues. Latency is a bit of an issue for me, and it should be. This isn't really intended to be played through the browser on an Xbox. It's not the exact same as, as on like a PC uh, with the optimization, but it does work well. It, it's playable. Um, when you get into like a first person shooter, which we're going to jump over to Far Cry 6, I suffered a bit more when trying to aim, but a game like this, I didn't notice it as much. Uh, definitely worse latency than Edge Browser on PC and definitely worse than the app. The app is definitely the best experience, but here we are in Far Cry 6 again, as you can see here in the daylight. Not an issue with the stream. Very clean for 1080p60. Decent, uh, very decent. Not much uh, pixelation or issues. And I was able to get a couple shots off in here, but I can't really micro uh, adjust and aim as well as I would like to. Again, like I said, the latency is just a little bit floaty for me on here. I'm really used to much tighter controls. Uh, some people may not notice. Um, some people may not really think it's a big deal and it may work really well. Again, not the, the most recommended way to play GFN, but it certainly works over on the Xbox Edge browser. All right, let's jump over to PC. Here's the Edge browser right here, and we are running on the newest update, of course, uh, for that. And this is technically in beta, so uh, more features could wind up showing up for browser. Uh, many different things could happen, but just as they're getting back into Edge, um, this is what we've got here. And I'm gonna show you the difference in settings between two apps um, as we get into this so that you know what the difference is. Latency is definitely gonna be a bit different too. Uh, I always have a little bit more latency on the browser than I do over on the app, which is typical, especially now uh, with the update, because we've got that adaptive sync, uh, which is being rolled out more system-wide instead of an adaptive vSync per game. So getting over here into the, uh, into the app, you can see I'm logged into both for Edge and for the PC app. Now we'll go into the settings on the PC app and you can see in here, we have uh, all the all the settings. I've normally have the max bit rate set. We'll change that uh, 1080p 60 right now here, adaptive on the um, V-Sync. You can see in-game graphic settings, that's locked behind the 3080 tier. So uh, when you when you uh, sign up for the 3080 tier, you can have the in-game in -game graphic settings. Um, although I do tend to have a lot of those stick anyway before that feature, but we'll see what happens with that going forward. Now, when you click on the options on the PC app that's updated, you'll see the preparations for the RTX 3080 tier with the 1440p right here, which we wouldn't be able to select uh, regardless on this tier on the My Founders. And then you've got the 120 right there. So all the preparations are in line, ready, adaptive sync, um, ready to go for the next tier. And also the adaptive sync working much better in the app now for all the games uh, latency definitely feeling much much better but when you get over into the edge browser your settings are a little bit different we don't have adaptive sync or anything a uh, little less on the um, settings we still have in-game graphic settings uh, you don't have that 120 option. There's not going to be 120 support in the browser. Um, that's again, while you won't have it on iPad or iPhone, you won't have it on the Edge browser or the Chrome browser, um, and you won't have above 1080p. You won't have that 1440 or anything. So this is a little bit more limited uh, as far as what experience you can get on the browser, but it does work in a pinch if you need to, to get on and, and play. If you want the full-fledged experience, I still highly recommend the app. That's no matter what device you're on. A dedicated app is much better. But getting into uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider again here, like I said, the latency is good, but not as good as the app. It's better than the Xbox um, when in Edge browser for that, but it's not not to the level that the app is now at. It's definitely the way to play, but I do know a lot of people just like to jump in browser and, and go for it. So um, ultimately, it works really, really well. And again, just like on Xbox with the browser, the stream here for the 1080p 60 
is really clean and very, very playable. And with the latency being even better, uh, even more playable. So what we're going to do too is jump over to Far Cry 6 again. And while I still wasn't getting the exact same experience with Adaptive Sync and whatnot in the PC app, I could tell that the controls were much tighter. As far as the stream, it looked the same. The 1080p60 was still clean, still solid, no major stutters or issues uh, with that. So that was about the same as on Xbox, but the latency was definitely way better on PC with the Edge browser. Much, much less issue with that, and I felt more confident getting into a uh, first-person shooter like this and just kind of running around and getting some shots and, and doing my thing here while I was recording. So, like I said, ultimately, the Edge browser, whether you're on PC or Xbox or whatever device it may be, um, it's not the ultimate experience that you're going to get from GFN. However, it's improved much over, over the past year in my testing with Edge browser. It used to be on Edge, it went away, and now it's back, and it seems improved. Um, so it's definitely a viable way to play. It just doesn't quite give you the app experience. And over on Xbox, you're, I highly recommend having a keyboard and mouse ready to go if you're going to dip, dip a toe in there and, and play around with some cloud in the browser on Xbox. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave me your comments below to let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.